Hey Earth Signs, I'm Rodin. Welcome to Balmy Spirit. This is going to be the general reading for uh, Cappies, Tauruses, and Virgos. Um, don't forget to check out the website, Patreon, and Vimeo. Also keep in mind, this is timeless and general, so it's not going to be for everybody. So if it's not resonating with you, that's okay. It just wasn't meant for you, and that's fine. Okay? Excuse me. I had lunch before this. Okay, Earth Signs. Um, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, I feel like you're finding yourself in a very tough spot. Um, I almost want to say rut. Doesn't quite feel right. It it feels like you you're you've been put in a stagnant place. It's interesting because it's like that stuff kind of just happens, right? I, you might be blaming somebody for that. <laughs> you might be pointing the finger a little bit as far as like this happened and that happened and they did this or they said this. Um, you might just be blaming the universe for your circumstance, but it feels like damn, I don't want to be here. <laughs> I don't want to be in this spot. I don't want to be in this position. It's not what I want to be. It's not what I want. Uh, I feel like you're being very practical, though. I feel like you're being very logical, though, as far as understanding how to get out of it, how to change it, how to change it. Um, yeah, it keeps feeling very practical. So it could be relating to money or household. It could even be pertaining to relationships. Because it feels very non-emotional, um, I keep feeling like you might, you might even be handling it that way, being very emotionally detached, like just to deal with it. Um, but yeah, I keep wanting to say it's about practical matters or even the way you're living, okay? It could even be work-related. Um, but let's go ahead and dive in. I'm actually feeling the sexual tarot, the sexual magic tarot. Why am I feeling that for you? Um, Okay, I think a lot of you are trying to be non-emotional about it, but all of a sudden I feel like passion and desire, so this could be about a relationship, um, almost like maybe you've been trying to ignore that, like, yeah, again, it just feels like you're taking a very pragmatic, like, diplomatic approach to this is not what I want, this is not where I want to be. I need to change this now, but I feel like there's actually passion and desire there around this circumstance that you're trying to ignore or trying to be cut off from. But you know what? This deck is calling me, so I'm going to use it, okay? Um, wow, we're diving right in. Normally, I start with the animal spirit deck, but this is, feels pretty urgent. This feels very urgent. Um, okay. By the way, I'm no longer reading reversals. I explained why in the air sign video. If you need a quick explanation, I had a talk with my guides. They instructed me to do so. We had a little funny conversation about it, um, but I am heeding that, okay? Doesn't mean it's bad to read reversals. It doesn't mean it's wrong to read reversals. It's just a different way of doing things, okay? Any messages or insights to my earth signs? I'm, feel I'm feeling that like <laughs> uh, that like Marsy, sexy, <laughs> heavy breathing kind of energy. Feeling that a little bit. You could even just be passionate and worked up about what you're feeling in your own circumstance. Um, it feels very Five of Pentacles to me. That I guess that's like a better way to also describe this. The position you're in is putting in like a Five of Pentacles place. Like feeling like there's no way to go but up or different, right? Like if you stay with what you have, you're just going to keep losing or you're going to stay stuck there or you're, you've already lost something. Um, it also feels like a disadvantage for some of you, but you're not having it. You're, you're figuring out a way out. Any messages or insights from Earth Science? Yeah, I keep feeling you like you're trying to detach. I keep feeling that. Like you're trying to detach from the emotions and passion of your own situation and your own feelings to go from a, from a, a logical standpoint on this. Um, I don't think you can do that for long. That doesn't feel sustainable, but let's see. I just heard Venus. Yeah, I don't think that's sustainable, but let's, let's see. It's funny, I was getting Mars and I'm getting Venus that like play on each other a little bit. The masculine feminine component. Four of swords. Four of swords. Okay. So like I said, you're figuring things out. Four of swords can speak to that. Four of swords is like 
trying to take yourself from out of a situation or just take a step back, like a little like meditation time. I'm going to sleep a little bit. I'm going to sleep on it. Right. Um, or I'm going to like take a weekend away. Like I'm going to take some space so I can sort out my, my own thoughts. So I can sort out my own truth. That's what four of swords is. King of Wands. It's funny, I almost said Cappies, but Earth Signs. Earth Signs, you can't ignore passion, okay? You can't ignore passion, you can't ignore your desire, you can't ignore your feelings. I totally understand, like, taking that stance of, I can't let that stuff control me to the point where I lose track of my own truth, right? Or what I need or what I, or what I should do. Like, totally get that. But clearly with King of Wands, there's some passion there. There's some desire there that's in the midst of this situation. And I feel like you're almost looking at that as like a distraction or something that is just like going to like mess up your own perception or something like that, which is kind of interesting. Um, so, oh, inter oh, okay. Some of you are taking this time to actually build up your energy reserves, um, to get some of your energy back, to get some like motivation and momentum back, which I think is also really good. For those of you who are in this kind of a place you don't want to be in, but you feel discouraged, taking time to kind of build up your own fire again is also really important, like recharging the batteries. Some of you guys are just needing to recharge your batteries and take a little vacation, okay? But definitely I'm feeling like some of you are trying to detach from your own desires and feelings here because the situation is difficult. The moon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Emotion. <laughs> also speaks to like things not being very clear, which is exactly what I was talking about, right? You're like kind of in a five of pentacles place. You don't like it. You don't like it. You want out. You want to figure out how to get out of that. Um, and some of you feel like your own, your own feelings, your own desires or passions um, might even be distracting you from understanding your best recourse. Um, others of you need to just take a little break or time out so that you can get like your own fire back, like literally take a little vacation. But either way, clarity is still needed here on your best course of action. Okay. Taking a little space and a little a little space and a little break to do it is very wise. Ace of Cups. Oh, earth signs. <laughs> the moon and the ace of cups. There, There is this like underlying mistrust of your own feelings, of your own emotions, which I think is fascinating because it's like your, your emotions will tell you a lot about what you actually want, like what you actually, what actually would align with you on a soul level. Your feelings do that. Now the brain is great. The, you know, thoughts are, we need those. <laughs> We need our brains, we need our minds. Um, we need a balance of the two. We need a balance of the two. Um, my best advice, just just take that break. Take that break, take that space. Let your energy, any energy reserves get restored. And as far as your own passions and emotions, even if you take a little break from them, you have to come back to them, okay? Even if you take a break from them, you have to come back to them because they're yours and you have to live with them. But take the break because it'll give you clarity again on your best course of action. But there's clearly a lot of emotion here and passion as it starts to rain outside. There's a lot of emotion and passion here and that's not going away anytime soon, okay? So no matter how much you don't like where you're at and you need to figure out a plan Take your break, but know that you got to deal with this too. Okay. All right. Moving on. Any other messages or insights from my earth signs? Oh my. Okay. 
the Wheel of Fortune. Change, luck. Um, again, you want to change your circumstance. So I'm not surprised the Wheel of Fortune is out here. I do think having a break is the key to do it, um, to doing it. But completely ignoring your passions and your emotions will not help your situation. Even if you need a break from them, that's fine. But you do have to come back to them, okay? But take your little break, okay? Then we have the Nine of Swords, the Six of Wands, and the Three of Wands. What is your concern here, Earth Signs? Which way to look for victory? So we just heard. <coughs> <coughs> Which way is the right way? Which choice is the right choice? I keep getting this underlying, like, not trusting your own feelings or almost, like, not trusting choosing certain paths. Like, like if you choose a certain path, it won't get you to where you want to be. There's a little bit of a control factor in there are signs that you don't really have control over everything that's going to happen. You can think about the consequences of your actions, like we all should. We're adults. <laughs> We're adults. Think of the consequences of your actions, but know that there are going to be things that are going to happen along that path of making that choice that are out of your control. Okay, even if you think, okay, I'll make this choice, this will be the consequence, and that will get me to this point B. Point B might not happen because of external factors. Point B might look completely different than what you were initially in, in you know, thinking about. And it might, you might feel differently about it once you get there, but you have no control over that. You only have control over how you feel in the present, what is best for you in the present. I feel like what you're doing right now is trying to strategize and figure out a way out of feeling Five of Pentacles, out of feeling stuck or feeling isolated or feeling lost or feeling like you're just in a really, really bad spot. And I think you're really busy on trying to focus on not being there and just like being, feeling really good or feeling really victorious or feeling really triumphant that you might even lose sight along the way of like, how do I say this? Um, you're losing sight on the present. You're losing sight on what you have. You're losing sight on what you actually have control over. But yeah, that's what I'm getting with the Nine of Swords, the Six of Wands, and the Three of Wands. Like, you want to feel like you're making the right choice and you're choosing the right path because you're hoping for a certain outcome. But that's control, and that's an illusion. Your feelings. Kind of want to look at your feelings, Earth signs. Let's look at your feelings. Let's look at this Ace of Cups. Because I feel like that's actually where this illusion is coming from. You want to have a certain outcome, and I feel like it's attached to your emotions, but there's a there's such a doubt and like fear and mistrust around what you want and getting what you want that you're trying to like just go at this with logic and that's like not that's not gonna work. Um, but let's go to the Ace of Cups. I am going to use. What am I gonna use? I'm gonna use Crystal Visions. Tell me about this Ace of Cups. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry. I realized I totally glossed over it. Overall, we have the Six of Cups. Six of Cups is your what your soul wants, right? It's also memories and nostalgia, the little butterflies in our stomachs. Like, that's, that's the Six of Cups here. And underneath that, Ten of Swords. You see what I'm saying here? It's like, you have a mistrust about what you feel emotionally and getting what it is you think you want like there's there's a serious mistrust there okay you might even had some serious shit go down in your recent history or a very painful very painful patterning um that you're being faced with right now that's causing you to feel like you're in a five of pentacles state or something might have happened that triggered you to remember something from your past um that's a part of your own programming at this point and you just want out you just want out. You don't want to feel this way. You just, you want to feel like things are okay and things are solid, things are steady. You're not going to lose anything. You're not going to be left alone. Um, you're not going to be left it between a rock and a hard place. Like, you want to get there. But you've got a, a 
a hate love relationship with your own emotions right now. Uh, tell me about the Ace of Cups. Oh, did I get a peeker? I did get a peeker. Seven of Pentacles. So whatever your emotions, whatever your emotions are, they're, they're really a big indicator as to what you want. But like as we've already as we've already discussed, there's a little bit of a hate love relationship with with what you want emotionally right now. And on the surface, it's really making you feel like you're just not okay. Like you're like things are just not stable. Things are not steady. Things are not certain. I might lose something. I've already lost something. Like you're in a five of pentacles. Okay. You've already invested your emotions into something, which tells me something went wrong or something happened. Not went wrong. Something's happened in the course of what you've been emotionally investing in. Something has happened. Okay. Kind of triggering you to go into, I need a course of action a mode. <clears throat> I need to make sure I get what I want. <laughs> I need to make sure I get to an okay place out of this. Um, but you've been clearly investing your emotion here into something or someone. But someone was outside. So I'm with the Ace of Cups. of wands yeah something happened okay something has happened it doesn't feel good and it's funny that's a five because i felt like you're in the five of pentacles mode um it doesn't feel great it feels like a fight or it feels like a petty ego ego kind of a struggle um some of you it's just your own you just are fighting your own emotions here okay Ace of Cups. Now keep in mind, because this is a general reading and we're reading energy, that this could be somebody that you are connecting to or relating to. It doesn't have to be you specifically. So I got the Ace of Cups. Mm. Now we have the Eight of Wands and the Two of Pentacles. Where to go from here? Course of action where to go from here you can't ignore what you want you can't ignore what you feel and even if it's like because again something clearly happened um no matter what has happened you still need to accept your feelings because they're yours and someone needs to accept them someone needs to acknowledge them and someone needs to accept them and it, and it should be you more than anybody else right uh, but this is definitely like where do I go from here and what do I want and what is the best course of action? I keep feeling this like wanting to control things of wanting to make sure you end up okay or end up in a desired outcome. But you don't have complete control over that. You don't. And I think that's the first step. As you're taking the space to figure out what you want to do, that's the first step to recognize. Like, you can't control what's going to happen. Okay? Okay. Overall, we do have the Hermit with the Fool. I want to go. I want to do. I need to take action. I need to do something. <laughs> I need to do something here. Um, with the Page of Pentacles, yeah, Seven of Cups, and then the Lovers. Wow. Okay, so again, take your space because you clearly need it, Earth Signs. Please take your space. You need it. You need it. You need it. And then we have the Page of Pentacles, the Seven of Cups, and the Lovers having a tangible understanding of just what is your truth and how to act in your best interest out of honoring your feelings as well that's that's what's going on here that's what you're trying to do that's what you need to do with the lovers it also speaks of um making a choice from a higher a higher energy like a higher understanding from a, an aware sense of awareness mindfulness you can even say from like a divine sort of state of being um through all the confusion the seven of cups and illusions that are going on there mm. earth signs 
No matter how you got to this feeling of Five of Pentacles, whether it's rooted in a pattern, a wound, or something has just happened within a certain circumstance, you're feeling very Five of Pentacles. Take your space, recover as much as you need to, and reflect. Like, with these emotions and your passions about whatever you feel triggered by, a little like, what's the word? Um, had a little ego hit, right? About reflecting on how you feel is also really important to just embracing your own emotions and to understand your own truth and to get to a place of accepting it and accepting like, okay, that didn't go as planned. <laughs> this is not going as planned. This is not quite what I envisioned. And that is okay. Let me recalibrate, feel my shit out. And then I can understand what is best for me to do here. I also, the phrase, don't throw the baby out of the bathwater is also coming up here too. So maybe whatever has happened or is whatever's triggered you isn't as, as, as apocalyptic as it might feel. Okay. Um, but that's up for up, up to you to decide. All right. So let's pull some advice. Um, I'm doing shamanic healing deck. It just is a nice one to use. Any advice for my earth signs? Yeah, nice. Any advice for my earth signs? I got one card out so far. Oh, and now we have, ah, <laughs> it makes sense. So we have new beginning and then we have letting go and forgiveness. Like I said, whatever has happened here to trigger you or to make you feel like you're in a five of pentacles state or whatever has not gone according to plan, it doesn't mean it's an end. It doesn't mean that you have to throw your plan out now. Like it happened. It just happened. Forgiveness is acceptance. Understanding and accepting that it's happened will allow you to just let go of the fact that it hasn't gone according to plan and then you can move forward accordingly. And if this is about a relationship, you know, maybe someone did something, you know, maybe someone upset you, maybe you guys had a fight, um, but moving to the place of just understanding and acceptance and then coming back to have a conversation about it is probably all you really need here. It, again, don't throw the baby out with the bath water that keeps coming up here. And especially with the beginning, it's like, with this, for some of you, it's also about understanding a new way of reacting to changes, a new way of reacting to things that go awry and how to kind of bounce back from that. So some of you, it's actually like transforming a whole pattern for you. Others of you, it's just like, okay, this is now different and there's gonna be a, a different way of doing this. The situation is going to be changing to some extent or my life is going to be changing to some extent and that is okay and it's allowing for something fresh. It's allowing for something different and that's fine, all right? Um, yeah, so take your space. Take your space, get recalibrated, reflect, reflect, reflect. If you're triggered as hell, like, or you're feeling that anxious or scared, there's a reason. So sit back and reflect on it because it might become very obvious to you that, oh, I might've overreacted or, oh, it's just reminding me of a very painful experience or, oh no, like this is just not, this was not part of my personal plan and it's painful and it's scary. That's also okay. Just take your time to do it though, all right? Okay, Air Signs, I hope you guys got a lot out of that. Again, don't forget to check out Vimeo on Patreon and the website, and I will see you guys very soon. Take care and good luck.